Also, new information for you tonight on that woman who learned that the remains she buried more than a decade ago were not her father's. We brought you her story first last week when she discovered her dad's ashes were one of 56 remains found in a Dayton home. Alexa Ashwell now with new information on another disturbing find tonight. Alexa. Delana Grundy has been wondering whose remains were really in her father's urn ever since this all came to light. Unfortunately, no one will ever know. Officials at the VA cemetery reopened the urn only to find there was no identification coin in the ashes. Delana Grundy describes the past few weeks as an emotional roller coaster. Her nightmare began when officials discovered 56 cremated remains in a foreclosed home on Philadelphia Avenue. One being of her father, Leroy Metcalf, who died of cancer in 2002. It was then Delana realized her father's headstone she visited for more than a decade at Dayton VA National Cemetery marked where someone else's ashes were buried. Ashes she just learned officials will never be able to identify. It was devastating because now there's somebody who's been there and nobody knows who it is. And then for it, I was just hoping all along this whole past week that they just made a horrible mistake and that it was my father. But now we'll never know who was actually there. Delana is dealing with another harsh reality. She must again bury her father's remains, something she says will be harder than it was more than 10 years ago. The first time I did it, because the first time I was at peace, I knew he had been ill and been suffering. You know, although I know that his soul was in heaven, you know, there's no doubt about that. It's just the fact that someone could have so little regard for his physical being. He was a very kind and gentle man. He never harmed anyone. Delena is confident her father will have the proper burial she says he deserves, thanks to officials with the VA cemetery and a lifelong friend. That friend donated this urn for her father's remains to be buried in, and cemetery officials plan to give Leroy Metcalf a new headstone in a new location. I was happy about that part, you know, to know somebody really cared that much for us. Now, the home where the remains were found last month was partially owned by former owner of the McLean Funeral Home, Cherie McLean. It's still unclear if any charges will be filed in this specific case. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.